is the new construction market drying up? That's what we're going to be talking about next. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Natasha Brazil with SoldByNat.com, associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and give some shout outs. Today, I had a closing. I had a closing and I want to shout out this beautiful couple. They actually have a newborn and they were up late, up late, but they are excited to get into their space because they have been living with the in-laws for over a month in a room and they are just so happy to get into their house. So as tired as they are, they could not wait to get their keys to get into their house, their three-story home. They are so happy. I'm so happy for them. And a video is coming. Um, what is the video about? The video is about final walkthrough or touch-ups with the builder or something. I made a video about something, it's coming. So just subscribe so you don't miss that. And shout out to the on-site agent, Crystal. She was the best on-site agent ever to work with. She impressed me from the absolute beginning. Once we got went under contract, I got an email that outlined everything. She was just a pleasure to work with. And then she was so sweet. She got me a gift. She got me a gift. Look at my gift. She got me a mouse pad. Is this? Let me open it. This is so me. Is this? Is this not the cutest mouse pad? Like, this is the best. So thank you, Crystal. This is beautiful. Again, congratulations to Dom and Steph. The goal for this video is for me not to do a lot of editing. I know to you guys, my videos don't seem to be long, but the editing process is really time consuming. It takes anywhere from four to six plus hours. So guys, I'm exhausted. I am tired. Why am I tired? This buyer's market has me tired. I know you have been hearing stories. Um, if you have friends that are in the market, if if you, you're in the market to buy, if you've been putting in all these offers and they haven't been getting accepted. Excuse me, is that Apple for sale? Uh, yeah, we're about to put it on sale right now, actually. Well, I'm in the market, so tell me about your Apple. Why should I buy it? <laughs> nice try. Okay, people, here's how this is gonna work. I have an Apple here. The highest bidder's going home with this. I want all bids in in the next two minutes, then we're closing it. Bidding starts at $5. Feeling pretty confident there, huh? I mean, don't you $10. think? $10. He said starting at five. 15. Is this a new Apple? Yeah, just listed. I'm pre-qualified. I'll pay cash. I got cash. 20, uh, 30, 40. No, just make it 45. Is it even worth that? 50. I don't know. Please, this is the eighth apple I've tried to buy. Could I at least see it up close? Uh, nope, it's an apple. You know what it is, you either want it or you don't. I'll take it for 100. What, I'm from California, it's the cheapest apple I've ever seen. 120. Why did I do that? Why, I don't, I don't. Guys, working with buyers, um, I'm exhausted. I'm from my island folks, Mithayad, Mithayad. I am tired. Like, there used to be a time when, you know, I would just schedule it. Like, hey, I have Wednesday, um, you know, at this time, and we can see all these properties. With the inventory being so low, my friend said it best. She was like, and now it feels like we're a slave to listings. Like, properties get listed and our phones blow up. Like, literally, I wake up in the morning, and it used to be, you know, I get a motivational text from my brother, and now I'm waking up and I have clients sending me properties. Can I see this? Can you show me this? Can you go look at this? And it's, yeah, this is different. This is different and I am tired. Like I am at the point now where daily, I am thinking about taking a sabbatical, not being selective, extremely selective in buyer clients that I take on, including lease purchase because lease purchase clients are in that same market with the buyer pool. Uh, if you went to go and book any time with me on my calendar for April, you'll see that I said, hey, I'm only taking on new construction or, and sellers. Happy Saturday, y'all. I probably don't look too happy because I am tired and exhausted. Like this resale market has me 
so feeling defeated and I am trying to hang in there, but legit, like I just had a client finish showing properties and she walked up to my car and she was like, like God told me to come over here and ask, is there anything I can pray with you about? And, and I, I was like, yeah, like I'm tired. I'm exhausted in addition to personal stuff that I have going on, like I needed it and, and she saw it. So I thought that was like really, really sweet of her. But this resale market, like I'm legit at the point where I'm like, I'm hanging in there for these buyers that I already said, yeah, I'm gonna work with you. But as far as taking on any new buyers, like, and hence the reason for this video, because today I had to call a new construction um, on-site agent. And I was like, what, what's going on with new construction? Like, is new construction drying up on me? Please, like, what are we doing here? What What is going on? And what I am seeing now in this market, why I said, let me go ahead and make this video is because I have said in other videos and I will insert the clip here where I said, hey guys, don't wait for new construction because the build times have, you know, they've increased. It's taking longer to build. So get in there. Well, if you haven't seen this video, I talk about how the resale market is just so crazy, busy, saturated. I don't know, can't think of another word to use for it, that a lot of people are going new construction. With new construction, you could go out and you could definitely find a house that was gonna be ready, you know, in 30 days or, you know, 45 days. Now that is rare to non-existent and you need to allow build time. So went out with some buyers last week and the build times were six months, seven months there. out. We're in now? Oh, we're seeing something different. And it's, it's causing some alarm in me. Now we're seeing things like Builders aren't writing contracts. Like I have buyers have been wanting to write contracts and like this particular community, they're on a, a moratorium. And I need to go and look up what is the official meaning of a moratorium, but essentially the, the onsite agents can't write any contracts. They're on hold. They cannot write any contracts. And the agent said like the builder needs to catch up building the homes that they already wrote contracts on and then supplies um, are taking longer um, to come in. Costs for the supplies are going up. I stopped in a new construction community this week. Uh, I have a video coming on that. Uh, I posted about it on my um, IG. So if you're, please go ahead and check me out there and you can see that video. And the agent said something. She said, hey, we're waiting on phase two. Um, I only have three homes that I can write on there, but we don't know when we're going to start. So we don't know when it's going to finish. So we can't put a close date and we're putting in an addendum that basically says when we get to the sheetrock phase, if the price goes up so much that the builder is not going to make a profit, we're going to give the buyer an option to come up to that price. And if they don't want to, or they can't qualify, we're gonna let them out of the contract and we're gonna give them back their money. That sounds good, but then essentially, buyer has been waiting all of this time to get their house built. So now, buyer is now like, okay, well, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna move? It's like, mm, that's not good to hear. Like, what, what's going on with new construction? What is going on with new construction? And I have somebody that's under contract, thankfully, and they wrote, and we're just waiting. We're waiting to see when they're gonna start building. Like we're just waiting to see when they're gonna start building. And I had another buyer, um, we're like, okay, we're gonna get out this weekend and go right on, you know, this community, Newberry Place. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll insert it here. Ready to write, she is ready to write. Contacted them. They're like, yeah, no, mm -mm, we don't have anything. We sold out phase one. So we can't write anything on phase two yet. We have a waiting list going. And what we suggest is that you go ahead and get approved and, you know, pretty much keep checking back in. And it it is like that. I'm seeing it more and more. So that's what has me like, okay, what's going on with new construction too? Like, don't do this to me, new construction be done with resale. I, I am so tired. 
if resale was a person, if the resale market was a person, I would be ready to fight. Insert the responses of, thank you for submitting your offer. We've received X amount of offer and the seller has decided to go with another offer. I am, I, I'm, I'm about over it. Okay, because it, it, at this point, it just feels like I'm spinning my wheels. And I, I feel so bad for these buyers out here trying to get a home and putting in all these offers. And <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm the agent. How do the buyers feel? How do the buyers feel? And they need actual home to live in. And I'm not talking about buyers that are just like, hey, seller, I need down payment assistance. Hey, seller, can you pay my closing costs? Like I have buyers, like I'm educating these buyers going in. Like we are having like get ready for war in our home buyer consultation meetings. Like if you haven't, you know, seen those videos that I have on that, like check them out here. Like they are ready. And I, I have a video to bring you on that. It's just a matter of me filming it. But I've been so busy out here with buyers that I haven't had time to film it. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it done because I wanna give you guys, you know, some strategies of what you need to be doing to get an offer accepted and what is actually winning offers. <sighs> but these buyers, like the standard offering over asking price, like that is standard now. That That's not like impressing anybody. Like, yes, standard is offering over asking price. Standard is not asking for closing costs. That is standard, okay? Uh, short, short due diligence period, standard. Now in this market, buyers need to be willing to pay out of pocket if the home doesn't appraise. Like that is something buyers are doing now. Now on top of it, the thing is shorter, contingencies, shorter financing contingencies and shorter appraisal contingencies. How do you make that happen? You go to a lender that is able to fully underwrite your file up front. Not all lenders do that. That's a big thing. So lenders matter. You're going to these big banks, you're going to the bank that you banked with or the, the bank that you're familiar with. Guys, listen to your agents. I'm just gonna throw out there, when I hear Navy Federal, I cringe. I cringe because Navy Federal is known to be slow. Like you have to go to the lenders that can get things done and get things done in shorter time frames. There are lenders out there that can close in two weeks. Like we need to go to those lenders. You, we have to be savvy in this market if you want to get a home. <sighs> I'm tired. So like, you're gonna have to help your agents help you get into a house. This is the reality of this market. It is what it is. It is what it is. And I wanna tell you that it's just in certain areas, it seems to be across the board. How long is this gonna last? I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know. There was a point in time when multiple offers, like I was confident because there were things that I, you could do and there were strategies that I could get my offers accepted. Like those things are no more. Like those those things that I used to do aren't working anymore. Like they, there are other strategies now. The market has changed and shifted even more. So we have to change and shift with the market. So, whew, oh yeah, I'm tired. So yeah, what was the point of this video again? Oh, what's going on with new construction? New construction and the resale market, I don't, I don't know. So if y'all contact me about buying a house and I tell y'all I've gone into to teaching, I'm now a teacher and y'all know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. I appreciate you guys though. I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys for subscribing. I appreciate you guys. I, I do. I appreciate you guys. I do. I do. So thank you guys for watching. I, I really do. If you have not done so already, even though you probably heard something that you did not want to hear, guys, I'm not going to I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am not going to tell you what you want to hear. I need to tell you the reality of the market so you can get into a house. Okay. You will find an agent that will tell you what you want to hear. That is not gonna help you, all right? So I, I, we gonna keep it real over here so you can get into a house because this is the market. 
And if you're not ready to buy in this market, then you just need to go ahead and wait. If you wait, what is the market gonna be like? Like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what the future holds, I don't know. But things are gonna work out how they're supposed to work out, I do believe that. All right, so we're gonna sign off here. Thank you guys again. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have questions, leave them down below. If you have strategies that have worked, please go ahead and leave them down below. Please go ahead and share. Y'all know this is my 10th year in real estate, right? I have never seen anything like this. I have never seen anything like this. So um, yeah, share so you can help somebody else. Agents, buyers, all right? Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day.